hello everyone in today's video I will show you how to set up environment variables in Windows 10 or Windows 11 to create an environment variable right click on the start button then type sysdm.cpl space comma 3 and press enter by the way sysdm.cpl command is used to open the system properties comma 3 test the system directly open the advanced tab which is third tab if you want to open the remote tab directly what you will do is type sysdm.cpl space comma 5 and hit enter and there you go it will directly take you to the remote tab anyway let's get back to advanced tab and start creating our environment variable for that click on environment variable button and here you will see two type of environment variables one is user variable and another one is system variable user variables are accessible by the user which is currently logged in on this system and the system variables are accessible by all the user on this system in this video I will create a user variable under path variable and the variable will be used for ADB and ride debug bridge that we have downloaded earlier I will leave the download link in the video's description this is the adb minimal zip file that I downloaded earlier so I'll open it up and extract all the files into my C drive inside a folder named android to create the variable all I need to do is select the path of folder copy it and double click on path variable click new and paste the path that I copied earlier and click OK three times and that's it when you type ADB if you see this detailed output it means you have correctly set up your environment variable for ADB not only ADB but whatever executable you will place in this folder you will be able to run that executable directly from a command prompt for example you see the fastboot.exe here you'll be able to run it like this without having to navigate inside that directory so guys that's it for this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications about new videos from me thank you for watching see you next time